Okay, what we have right here um, is an actual uh, Freon problem, what we call seal system problem. Uh, what's happened, uh, the technician, he came out and he looked at it, and he thought it was actually a defrosting problem with the actual defrost control board. Um, but what he failed to do was actually remove the back panel and actually look at the coils. That's why I tell y'all to always look at the coils. Uh, you see right here, you only got a slight frost pattern going on right here. And you don't see no frost down here. So that lets me know that we have a problem. Either we got a Freon leak or we got a problem with the compression compressor or restriction someplace. So what happened, even though you open up the freezer, you will see some of the stuff will actually be frozen. Uh, it won't be frozen solid. You, know, you look at the ice, the ice will be uh, like real wet. Uh, it won't be frozen solid. That's a good indication that you got a sealed system issue. And this is what this customer right here had. He did not have a defrosting problem. He had an actual sealed system problem. Um, if they just removed the back panel, that's always a good check when you're looking at refrigerators. Remove the back panel, and you should have a light frost all the way across. If you got just half frost, you got a restriction. And if you got this just totally filled up with nothing but frost and like a block of ice, then you got a problem there too with the defrost cycle. But uh, yeah, that's what that problem is, and that's something you need to look out for. Cause it can it can trick you by just looking at the food and see if the food food frozen and then it's making ice. All right, bye.